Hey guys, it's Trixie. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be sharing with you 8 Zoom games that you can play with big groups. Let's go straight to the list. Our first game is called Rock, Paper, Scissors Ultimate Match. We all probably know about the fun classic Rock, Paper, Scissors game. Count to three and using your hands, make a rock, paper, and scissors. Paper beats rock, rock beats scissors, and a pair of scissors beats paper. It's usually played by two people, but today we are playing it with the whole gang. The game is simple. As the host, you will just ask everyone to pick a partner and do one round with each other by focusing on each other's frames. The person who loses will have to turn off his or her camera. The ones remaining will again pick a partner and do the same thing. This will continue until all of the cameras are off except for the two remaining players. On the final round, you can ask everyone to turn their cameras back on so everyone can see each other's reactions. Ask the two remaining players to do three rounds of rock, paper, scissors and the person who wins the two out of three rounds will be the winner. Alright, on to our next game which is called Word Scramble. This game has been one of my favorite go-to games for big groups in Zoom. In this challenging but really fun game, as the host, you simply have to prepare random scrambled words that belong to a certain category. You will need to write these down on pieces of paper and show it to the camera or you can also create slides using Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Slides, or Keynote and show the slides one by one to your participants. I will have a list of random scrambled words in my Pinterest account too, linked down in the description box below so you won't have a hard time trying to come up with them. The person who gets the most points wins! Our third game is called Home Shopping. We don't get to go out to shop as much as before, so I thought we can get our bodies moving a bit and doing a little shopping around the house. Before the virtual call or before starting the game, the host will have to prepare a list of 10 to 15 items that can easily be found in the house. Have the participants prepare their own shopping bags. Once everyone is ready, Show your list to everyone by typing it in the chat or sharing a photo of the list. Participants can take a photo using their phone or take their gadgets with them while getting the items. Or simply keep on checking back on their computer to get each item. It depends on whatever they prefer doing as long as they put everything in their bags and come back to the camera. Once someone has everything in the list, he or she must go back to the camera and say their name and that they are done shopping. If Claire is the first one, she can yell, Claire is done shopping, so that it's easy for the host to know the name of who yelled first. That person will be the winner. On to game number four, which is called Name the Playlist. In this game, the participants will need a pen and paper. The host prepares a list or a playlist of songs to play using another gadget or via sharing just the audio in Zoom and participants will have to guess the title of each song. Because this is a large group, instead of the participants saying their guesses out loud for each song, they will simply silently list down all their guesses. Once the host has played everything in the list, he or she will reveal the song titles and ask who got the most points. Of course, the person with the most number of song titles wins. Our game number five is called Birthday Memory Game. This is a fun game that is perfect for groups with participants who do not know each other's birthdays. All players will need a pen and paper for this one. The game starts with everyone's cameras off. If possible, ask participants to temporarily remove their Zoom profile photos if they have any so that only their names shows and it doesn't get confusing. The host will mention each month of the year and pausing for about 15 to 30 seconds per month before moving on to the next one. When a participant's birth month is mentioned, he or she will have to switch his or her camera on 
for that 15 to 30 seconds allotted. Once their month is done, they will have to turn off their camera again. Basically, if you hear your birth month, your camera must be on. If it's not your birth month, keep your camera off. This will continue until all 12 months have been mentioned. While this is going on, everyone must pay close attention to the people appearing for each month. The goal of the game is for all participants to try and remember everyone's birthday months or at least try to remember some of them. After all the 12 months of the year have been mentioned, participants can now take out their pen and paper and list down the 12 months and the names of the people they remember seeing for each month. To check the correct answers, you can do the game again and have participants check their lists. The person who gets the most number of correct names in their list wins. On to the next game which is called Candy in the Jar. This is a very simple and quick but really fun guessing game. For this game, the host prepares a jar with candies. As the host, you will have to know how many candies are inside. If you buy smaller types of candies, you can simply check out the number of candies in the bag that it comes with and just adjust the number of candies from there. Show the jar to everyone in the call and have them put their guesses in the chat box. I suggest doing this game in the beginning of the call and announcing the winner towards the end of the call. That way, everyone has something to look forward to at the end of the call. Check all the guesses or assign someone who is not in the game to check who has the correct or the closest guess. This person will be the winner. Alright, let's go to game number 7 which is Virtual Stay or Go Game. In this game, the host will have to prepare different traits or phrases that describe a person. This can be something like loves playing golf, an only child, a vegan, or a fan of Oprah. You can check out my Pinterest account too to see more examples that you can use for free. The host will list these in pieces of paper and put in a bowl. The goal of the game is for the host to randomly pick these descriptions and eliminate those that these do not apply to until only one person is left in the game. Each person eliminated will have to turn his or her camera off to see clearly who is left. So let's say I'm the host. I will have my bowl ready, then pick out one description and say, Stay in the game if you are someone who loves chocolates. The people who love chocolates will keep their camera on and those who do not like chocolates must turn their cameras off. The host will continue picking from the bowl until only one person is left and that person will be our winner. Alright, our last game is called Large Group Charades. For this game, you may divide the group into teams or have them play individually. As the host, you will have to prepare words to use for the game. Send a word via private chat to a randomly picked participant and have him act out the word without making any sound. I suggest using the spotlight feature in Zoom so everyone can see the participant's frame. Tell everyone to type their guesses on the chat box so you will know who guessed first. The first person to guess the word correctly gets a point and the one who gets the most points wins. So there you go, those are my 8 Zoom games for big groups. Don't forget to check out my other Zoom games in my other videos for more ideas. Together, let's make happiness happen every day and live the lives we love. I'll see you on the next one.